it's getting hot out here already. <laughs> Welcome back to the Becky Show. Welcome back. Here we go. I'm nervous. I'm nervous about this one today. Um, I want to talk to you about autism. And the reason I want to talk to you about autism is because this girl is autistic. <laughs> Maybe that'll surprise some, won't surprise others. Some people know, I'd say about a handful of people know. Um, most of my family knows, I think it's probably gotten around by now. You little gossipers, you little stinkles, stinkers, rascals. Anyways, um, if you don't know, I'm Becky Fuentes, and uh, I found out about two and a half years ago that I am on the autism spectrum. And uh, wow, what a journey! I'm 58 now. I found out when I was 56. 56. Um, and so many things made sense, you know, once I figured it out. Once I figured out who I was and that my, my little quirks and my weird behaviors had a reason you know it's my it's it's this it's my brain my brain is actually different i am neurodiverse bitches <laughs> uh, maybe maybe you already saw that i don't know um i'm kind of going off a little bit of a script because uh, that's what we like to do. We like to script things out among a lots of other things. Um, and, you know, when I was younger, I didn't know anything about autism. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. Um, and then as I got older, even after my kids were already grown, uh, I started seeing like more females coming out with videos saying that they were autistic and and talking about their traits and their behaviors especially the repetitive stuff uh lots of stuff and i thought huh <laughs> could i could i be i mean i don't know i just thought i was kind of weird and quirky you know uh and then as time went on and i learned a little bit more a little bit more uh, I, you know, because I always thought autism mostly affected boys, the stereotypical things that you think of with autism, extreme behaviors, uh, boys, trains, you know, all of these things, uh, focused, hyper-focused on certain special interests is what it's called. And I, uh, I just didn't connect with that. Cause I'm not a boy and uh, you know I like trains okay but I mean I wasn't super interested in them like crazy but then I started learning more about females and how we tend to hide it more which is called masking because we want to blend in with our our friends around us so we we tend to copy what they do um, like Oh, yeah, this is how I'm supposed to act about this or that. So girls, it's harder to diagnose from what I understand because we hide it. We hide it so well, and you're only going to know if you catch us with one of our, one of our stems, our stimuli, like rocking or hand flapping or dancing or singing or whatever, whatever it is that's your thing, you know? Maybe you have multiple things. I have a few things. Uh, so I went to a special, uh, well, first, you know, I, I had told my wife, Lucy, I said, I think I might've been autistic 
as a kid because even then I was thinking that you outgrow it. It's something you outgrow. It just kind of goes away when you get older. And she was like, okay. And, and then we just kind of let it go. And then a couple of years after that, I told her, I said, you know, after learning more and taking a bunch of online tests to self-diagnose, and man, it was spot on. It was spot on. I told her, I said, I have something to tell you. And, uh, and she's, she says, uh, oh, you know, is it something bad? And I said, well, I don't think so, but I don't know how you're going to take it. You know, we've been together at that point for about 18 years. So, and we'd known each other 10 to 12 years before that. So I told her, I said, I think I might be on the spectrum. I think, I think I might be autistic. And she said, okay well what do you want to do about it <laughs> I said hmm um okay I didn't, I didn't expect you to be so accepting and understanding about it so quick without so much of an explanation um so I told her I wanted to go see a psychologist and I had already found one who specialized in female diagnosis in LA and Dr. Donald Gallo, I want to give you a shout out. Thank you. I know I told you two and a half years ago I'd probably make a video on my YouTube channel, and here I am doing it finally. Jeez, it took me a while. It took me a while to get up the courage to tell everybody. Um, but when he told me that I was, you know, part of the quirky club, his way of saying I was on the spectrum, yeah, uh, my, my eyes kind of welled up a little bit, not because I was sad about it, but because it was like, oh, what a relief. It all makes sense. Everything makes sense. Why my brain works the way it does. And, you know, I, I would just keep everything kind of inside. Um, but now I'm, I'm, you know, I tell people here and there, so I'm becoming more more open about it but man it's been a ride it's been a ride and um i'm learning about more about myself every day and more about the autistic community and god dang it man we're badasses we are freaking badasses man you know what i'm saying um i mean I, i'm proud to be neurodiverse and uh, you know, it's, it's just now that it's out and now that, you know, I can be more of myself around Lucy and the family and everything with my little quirks and stems and everything, uh, feels, it feels pretty good. And I told my kids, of course, you know, I mean, I told my kids before I went and got the evaluation that I thought I might be. So, uh, <laughs> they were like, okay, you know, like, cool. Like, man, I got a freaking badass family. And, you know, growing up, I'm going to go back a little bit, but growing up, I was a, you know, I always thought I was a, I say weird, quirky, whatever you want to call it, uh, kid. And, you know, even though my family didn't know about autism, I don't think, I don't think they know. We, none of us knew about this stuff pretty sure they didn't know they just accepted me for who I was and they let me be they just let me be you know they let me be my quirky self and they let me do my quirky weird little things that I would do and you know I really I'm really blessed and lucky that I that I grew up with with brothers and sisters and mom and dad aunts and uncles, grandparents, cousins, everybody, you know, everybody. I mean, thank you. Thanks to my family. Thanks to my friends who know. And uh, eh, they were like, ah, okay, cool, you know. <laughs> so it's all good. But uh, I'd like to make some more videos about this and, and talk more about uh, my stems, my, my repetitive behaviors, my my quirkiness my quirks <laughs> if you'd like to hear more about it and, and maybe you maybe you won't tell me whether you do or not and maybe i'll make videos anyway because i really don't i'm really just gonna do what i want to do anyways 
because I enjoy it and it's a good outlet for me. Um, but we got big changes, man. We got big changes coming up. I'm getting ready to retire from, uh, well, I retired from real estate late last year uh, from Movoto. Thanks, Movoto, for all the opportunities you gave me. Uh, it was a blast. Thanks, Eddie Rendon, my guy, my broker, best broker in the world. Um, I retired from real estate last year, so this year I'm retiring from my full-time job that I had on top of that uh, in December. December 1st is going to be my last working day. Uh, so I'm super jazzed about that, super jazzed. Uh, we're going to go on a whole new adventure. Uh, Lucy's going to retire soon. We plan on traveling a lot, hopefully a lot to Mexico. Uh, different parts of Mexico. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and uh, just lots of changes, man. Lots of changes, lots of adventures. Um, and uh, well, I think that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about right at this moment because I don't think y'all have seen my beautiful face in a while on this channel. I've posted a couple of travel videos, but that's that's been about it but i've been wanting to talk about this for a minute so um i think that's it for now thanks guys for all the support thank you so much appreciate it appreciate it appreciate it and uh, i'll talk to you soon i'm sure i'm gonna get back into the swing of things hopefully all right peace out yo see ya